Good afternoon and welcome back to another ModiSoft back office video. Today we're going to be going over on how to add an item in ModiSoft. So adding items is probably one of the most important things you're going to be doing on a daily basis when you get new items into your store and you want your register to be able to ring up those items for your customers. Um, there are multiple ways to do this process, but today we're going to go over the back office way um, because you could also download our Modisoft back office app and scan items into your store for new items. But this tutorial will go over doing this process in the back office. So first thing you're going to want to do, just go up into your main menu, go to your products page, and then go to your items page. So this is going to open up your items uh, page where you will see a lot of data here. Um, what you're going to want to do, if you have a scanner attached to the computer, you can scan items, or if you don't have that, you can manually read items, you know, the barcode of the items out here to do that. Um, I do not have a scanner attached, so I'm going to go ahead and paste a item barcode here into the scan code text box. And you'll see that we're going to be adding a new Gatorade 32 ounce bottle. Now down below, you'll see there are different things here that you can apply to the item. So main thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to always want to assign a department to this because that's the most important thing in order for your point of sale to be able to sell the item is it needs to know which department is it's going to go under. Um, once you assign a department, so for example, beverages, it will load the your department values for this item, such as your minimum age. Is this a age-restricted item? What's the tax rate? What's the NACS code? Um, what's up to you to decide now is does this item belong to any categories, price groups, any payees associated to it? You know, these are all optional things that you can add to it, but it does not necessary in order to send the item to the POS. Um, after you've added this, the most important thing after that would be to enter your case cost for how much you know you, this item costs for the case, if there's any discounts associated, and then how much you're going to sell it at the register. So for example, $2.99. Once you've entered that price, you know that's the bare minimum that you have to enter is just a department, retail, tax, NACS code, and minimum age. As long as you enter that data, you can save this item as it is. Now, once you save this item, it will show that the item was saved. And now the only thing that you have to do now is just go to send a POS, single item review, and then any items that you need to send to the POS will be here for you to send. So all you have to do is just click send to POS and then that item that you just created and anything else that might be in this list, maybe you've updated prices, all of this will be sent to the POS. So once you see this message that it has been sent to the POS and all those items have disappeared, then you can go to your register, whether it's commander or passport, um, you can log out the register if it's Commander, or you should see a message on the screen saying that your price book has been updated in Passport. If you have a, a MPOS, you'll be able to just give it a couple minutes, let it hit the server, and then check your register to verify you can scan these items. We hope that you found this guide useful in better understanding your Modisoft back office. Please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you will always be up to date on your Modisoft back office. Thank you and have a wonderful day.